Marlon Brando's Last Stand Marlon Brando's filmography is like a treasure chest of cinematic excellence, but not all that glitters is gold, especially towards the end of his career. Now, good is subjective, but if we're talking about the last flick that truly captured a slice of Brando's legendary acting prowess, I'd point to The Score, 2001. Directed by Frank Oz, this heist film brings together an impressive ensemble. Robert De Niro, Edward Norton, and of course, Brando himself. What's fascinating about this movie isn't just the star-studded cast, but the dynamics between the actors, both on and off screen. Brando plays Max, a savvy crime boss who pulls De Niro's character into one last job before retirement. It's a role that fits him like a glove, effortless charisma with a touch of that Brando mystery. Despite the film's mixed reviews, it's hard to overlook the gravitas Brando brings whenever he's on the screen. He's not the fiery young Stanley Kowalski from A Streetcar Named Desire, nor the imposing Vito Corleone from The Godfather. This is an older, wearier Brando. Yet his performance in The Score has moments where his talent still shines brightly, giving us a glimpse of why he's one of the greats. Let's not paper over the rumors, though. Brando's behavior on set was, well, let's just say, challenging. But perhaps it's that mercurial nature that imbued his roles with such complexity. Even if the score isn't the pinnacle of his film career, it still stands as a respectable final bow in the spotlight for one of Hollywood's titans. Life is a lot like Brando's filmography. It has its peaks and valleys, and while not every moment can be on the waterfront, there's merit to be found even in the twilight efforts. Now, whether you're in Portland, Oregon soaking up the evergreen beauty, or somewhere else entirely, good movies have this universal quality of connecting us, and Brando's last films, for better or worse, are part of that magic.